Well, turning our focus now to a two news exclusive. Two fathers who lost their children in the murder, suicide and vertigris are now one step closer to ensuring what happened to them never happens to another family. You may remember back in July, three children were shot and killed before their mother turned the gun on herself. Now a bill to change supervised visitation of Oklahoma children heads to the House floor after passing the Senate yesterday. Two News Oklahoma's Corey Duke sat down with the dads behind the bill and shares what's next. God has just laid the stones out for us. It's been amazing. I never, never expected us to get the reception that we have. Um, you know, it's been just since July, and we've, we've had a, an overwhelming response from the politicians to help us get this brought in, you know, less than a year. On Tuesday, the Senate floor giving recognition to two fathers, Billy Jacobson and Ryan McGee, who faced the unimaginable. Nothing will bring our children back, but I believe that uh, I see their purpose now, which was hard to see at first, and, uh, and I believe they're going to save thousands of kids' lives by the time it's done with. In July, three children died at the hands of their mother, nine-month-old Billy, six-year-old Bryce, and 11-year-old Noe. The mother, Brandy McCaslin, had supervised custody of the children, but Jacobson, the father of nine-month-old Billy, says there were shortfalls. He says McCaslin had previously attempted suicide, yet was still allowed to access her kids with supervised visits. The supervisor, Jacobson says, was McCaslin's best friend. We we're very blessed with the supervisor um, that we did have. Um, I don't believe it should have been somebody that was a friend. Um, that's something that we're going to try and change. Senate Bill 1756, known as the Oklahoma Supervised Visitation Program, will require the court-ordered contact between the non-custodial parent and their children be trained to oversee the visit. It also states a judge may appoint a supervised visitation team to provide location sites for the visit, develop application forms for volunteers to apply to the program, and develop a protocol for handling such visits to provide safety of the child and others. If you have a violent or um, a, temp a suicide attempt, anything like that involving children and you lose custody, um, from this point forward, you won't be able to get it back um, until you have a full makeup done um, by mental health. And uh, you also won't be able to have visitation unless it's in a professional environment. Jacobson says if this was in place back in July, he believes the children would still be alive. Ryan McGee, the father of 11-year-old Noe, urges others to speak up if something doesn't seem right. Now, if you see signs of just any kind of sign, just report it. Um, our supervisors, um, um, the last one, like you said, it was, was amazing. Um, but she wasn't qualified to see signs and, and, and we didn't have proper channels for her to, um, to, to um, discuss these things with. And, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, there were, there were a lot of signs, but um, yeah, just be very observant. Senate Bill 1756 passed the Senate on Tuesday and now heads to the House floor. If it passes there, the next step is the governor's desk. In Tulsa, Corey Duke, 2 News, Oklahoma. We'll certainly keep following the push to change how children are supervised during visitation. For updates on the bill's progress, continue to watch us on air and online.